Hello everyone <clears throat> and welcome again in this new tutorial. So today we will talk about polygons and how to uh, arrange them in our PCB board. Okay. So first of all, the polygons actually we use them for different reasons. Uh, for example, we might use them to reduce the noise, reduce the EMI, improve the the current handling, etc. Okay, so for example, if you if you see here, I have already set a polygon. Okay, so if we uh, click this button or uh, at at net, it will fill up our polygons. Okay. So we know here we use uh, the same circuit we used in the previous tutorial where we talk about the teardrops. Okay, so this polygons is a ground polygon. We can see from here. It's a ground polygon. Make a single layer. Okay, so now if let's say for some reason we want to Add another polygon here to increase the width of this BCC trace. Okay, we want to increase this <clears throat> this trace so it can handle higher current. Okay, so there are different ways to do this. Let's take out the polygon. So there are different ways to do it. Either by use a thicker or wider trace like this. Or, or we can use the polygon so it can even cover a bigger area. Okay, so for example, I will reduce the width. So for example, I want my polygon to cover all this area for some reason. Okay, this is my VCC. Beautiful. Okay. So now we already add a polygon from here. By the way, if you don't know how to use and why we use the polygon, how to do all these things, please let me know in the comment. I will make another uh, tutorials for you to talk more about the polygons. Okay, so we already add one and I already have an old one. So if I uh, fill up all of them, see what will happen. Boom. Do you remember the, the main one or the outer one is the ground? You see it's connected to the ground here. Same time now the VCC also connected to the uh, to the same, let's say to the same uh, polygon now. So the VCC and the ground, they are mixed together, you see, which is very, very dangerous. So how to fix this issue? By change the rank of the polygon. Just like change the priority of the polygons, okay? So the small one will be the higher rank. If you right click, we see the rank, the rank is one, higher ranks. We just increase the rank of the bigger one. Say make it two, and voila. Automatically will separate the one for us, then now the ground will be connected only at the bottom, see? And the VCC, you see now, the VCC is at the top. Exactly. Okay? So again, let's take another example for polygons. Let's say, um, again, for some reason, uh, let's say this area here should be Mm. Also, like we need a polygon here. This one, let's say, connected to D. Mm. It doesn't. Shoes. Let's repeat again. Oh, before actually, before let's uh, 
flip up the polygons. So hmm, it's already here. This is the D. So if you see here, here we go. So we have two polygons now, two polygons, okay, or two areas. Okay, this is one and this is two. Okay, so with this uh, method, we can add more uh, polygons or more areas or even uh, more places where we need to add higher kind or, for example, especially if you work with the SMP, switch mode power supplies, that's required different grounds, the ground for the chalk or for the for the coils and the ground of the, I mean, SMP of all the coils and uh, diodes with the switching MOSFET, all this should be different ground from your digital or even from the rest of the circuit. Otherwise, you will have a lot of noise from the switching of the coil. So it's better to have a separated polygon for the um, different uh, circuits. Okay, we can even change the size. Okay, so with this, uh, we have learned how to change the rank of the polygon. So we can have more than one. Let's repeat again. Let's do at the top. So you see here the top, we don't have any polygon. Let's add one. Let's say we want to add on this. from here to here. And let's say now we want to add mm, also VCC. This one just for example. Okay, or maybe not VCC, let's change to, let's say different ground, GN ground two, GND two. Okay, so if you see now, they are mixed together and they all uh, link to each other. So we just need to increase the, increase the, what they call the rank, or increase the priority, then it will be separated. So now we have GND2. You see here, we've got something connected to GND2, which is this one, and we have GND2. Uh, the normal one, which is this one. We just separate the grounds. So we have this ground and the rest of the circuits ground. Okay. So here, for example, in this ground, we might send it to the SMP, uh, this regulator or any other applications. Okay. So I hope you have learned how to uh, use multiple uh, polygons to solve different uh, issues in the PCB. Thanks, and please do let me know if you face any issue or problem in your circuit design so I can discuss with you guys again in the future. Thanks.